Having been going to the gym for a significant period of time, training like you normally train, but you're just not making the gains you used to make back in the day. Well, a lot of people call it hitting that plateau, not getting any better, not getting the same kind of workouts that you used to get. Well, there's several factors that contribute to this. And in this video, I'm gonna explain what those factors may or may not be for you. Now, everybody's different. Every individual is different. I'm gonna try to touch on what I think based on my 43 years experience of what those factors are that are affecting you not making the gains in the gym or plateauing as people say. So stay with me and we'll, we'll try to get a solution to this problem to take your training back to where it used to be. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Championship Muscle. I believe one of the main factors contributing to you not making the gains in the gym or plateauing as they say, is probably the way you're training. Are you doing the same thing every time you go into the gym. Is your chest workout the same? You start with bench press, then you go to incline, and then you go to flies with some cables or a pec deck, and you're done. Is it the same routine? Well, if it is, your body's gonna get used to that, and it's not gonna see any changes. Your muscles are gonna say, here we go again, same shit, different day. You can't do the same workout every single time you go in and do a body part you've got to change things up. And what I mean by that is, if you're starting on, and let's use chest for example again, if you're starting on a chest day, and you usually start with a bench press, and you're the six to eight or eight to 10 guy, change it up. Lighten up the weight a little bit and take your repetition range higher. Decrease the amount of time you're resting between sets. Add drop sets, add high rep sets, Train it to failure. Failure doesn't have a number. That depends on when you shit out and you just can't pump out any more reps. Change up the order of the routine that you're doing. If you're normally starting on bench and then you go to inclines and then, and then cables or flies or pec deck, start with a different movement first. Start with the cables or the pec deck or start with dumbbell benching or dumbbell inclines first. Challenge your muscles. Don't give it the same Thing every time you're going into the gym. You gotta change up the order. You gotta keep the muscles on their toes. Otherwise, they're gonna get stale. They're gonna get the, here we go again. And that's what you don't want. You wanna come into the gym and you wanna be able to get that skin splitting pump. If you're not getting the pumps you used to get, like I said before, increase your rep range, lighten up the weight, do those high repetition sets, do high repetition drop sets with a moderate weight. Maybe you're training too heavy. You know, for the younger guys, training heavy is a lot different than the older guys. For younger guys, popping out 205 or two and a quarter on a bench for 10 or 15 is a lot easier than it is for the older crew. So you gotta pick the weight that you know that you can handle to get those high repetitions that are gonna change the dynamics of your workout. It can't be the same old routine again you got to switch it up. Another factor is going along the lines of the same shit different day. If you're doing chest and shoulders, why not start supersetting a chest exercise, then a shoulder exercise. Back and forth, try high repetitions. Very little rest between sets. Lighter, lighten up the weight a little bit. Moderate weight, but go high reps back and forth between those two exercises. Blow them muscles up with all that blood. And then when you're done with your two, three, or four sets of that, go to the next two exercises, the chest, whatever they would be for you, and superset them back and forth, back and forth. Maybe add a tri set where you're doing three exercises in a rotation. You can't, you, you gotta make it different. You gotta put the muscles on notice that you're there to beat them up. It can't be the same shit every workout. Let's say biceps, you start with biceps and you do barbell curls, preacher curls, dumbbell curls. And I'm gonna use that example because that's what I do. Those are my main go-to my main go -to exercises. And when I train with my training partners, if we're gonna do three, three exercises, one guy will start at each station and bang out their repetitions. And then after they're done with that set, we start rotating around and go in a circuit of those exercises. So the guy that starts on barbell curls is gonna end on dumbbell. And the guy who starts on dumbbell 
is going to end it on preacher. And the guy that starts on preacher is going to end it at barbell. You're going to be able to take your training to the next level because your muscles aren't used to that. So then a week later, you do another arm workout. And if you started on barbell curls, go start your shit on preachers. And the other guy starts on dumbbells. And, and then the other guy starts on, on the uh, barbell. Rotate it around. Switch it up. Do drop sets that day. Do high rep sets that day. Change it up. If, if you do buys and tries on the same day, do a high rep set or a high rep drop set of barbell curls, go right over to a tricep exercise. Super set of bicep tricep exercise. Then when you're done with your three or four sets, go to another two exercises. Super set them. Change it up. Make it different. I'm telling you, if you're not getting that skin splitting pump in your workouts, it's because you're doing low reps and not enough repetition and you're taking way too much time in between sets. So I got training videos out. I got people all over the world messaging me about wanting an online consultation. It's, it's, it's a lot. And I put these courses together, you know, to help you take your training to the next level. It's like having me in the gym with you, okay? I go over all the body parts. Everything is covered. And some of the things I just mentioned are in this video about the way that you do these exercises. I'm telling you, these training videos will take you to the next level, and there's a link in the description for it. Uh, my channel has risen very highly over the past year or so. My subscribers are you know, really climbing, and I appreciate that, so please like, subscribe, and share this video. And I'm gonna go into another part of why I think you've hit a plateau. All right, so stay tuned with me. All right, another factor that I know affects your training and maybe hitting that plateau is your diet. That four letter word that everybody friggin' hates, but it is such an important factor when it comes to training, whether it's bodybuilding, powerlifting, just weightlifting in general. Your diet is everything. You've gotta be able to take in the right amount of protein, because protein is what builds muscles. Yes, you need complex carbs, but only a certain amount depending on how you look. If you're fat and you're carrying 20 pounds or more of body fat, complex carbs are your worst enemy. You gotta concentrate on the protein and you gotta concentrate on the vegetables and the healthy fats to help you burn your body fat. But protein, my suggestion is less than a one gram of protein per pound of body weight if you want to gain muscle. You're a 200 pound man. My suggestion is, and it also depends on age, 175 grams of protein a day. Divide it up into how, however many meals you're going to do. If you're also that 200 pound man who's carrying 20 or more pounds of body fat, you gotta keep your complex carbs below 50 grams a day. Otherwise, you're not burning your body fat, you're burning the complex carbs that you took in and you may never burn through those carbs during your workout or whatever other activities you're doing through the day and your body's gonna store those and it stores them as fat. So you're not gonna see the muscle gains that you're coming in the gym and training so hard to get. I don't care how much cardio you do, you're not gonna burn your body fat if you're taking in a substantial amount of complex carbohydrates. And I've changed many a bodybuilder over from their high complex carbohydrate intake to a very low complex carb intake until we got them to a certain look and then increased the carbs to balance it out. But they burned through all their body fat. They got the muscles popping. That's the name of the game. You always want to look the part. You never want to look bloated or fat. You want to be able to see muscles. You're coming in the gym to train your muscles. Don't you want to see your muscles? Of course you do. Diet is everything, people. Diet is everything when it comes to this. I hope this video helped a lot of you so you have a better understanding. I have other videos in my playlist. There's one video that I got coming out. It's the lean bulking video. And there's also the complex carbohydrate myths video that I recently put out. Those videos really explain the role of diet when it comes to training. It's so, so vitally important that you get your diet on key because you can kill it in here for an hour. And believe me, an hour is more than enough to be in the gym. But once you leave the gym and you go out there and every meal is like Thanksgiving, you're really not gonna be satisfied with your results because you're gonna get fat. You're gonna get fat. And please stop watching these videos of these young guys consuming all these calories and all these complex carbs. 
You don't know the backstory. You don't know the drugs they're taking or the insulin they're taking that supports that type of eating pattern. Do not fall into that trap. Whoa, Sam Sulek's eating 600 grams of carbohydrates a day and he's eating all of this food. And, well, Sam Sulek's also 21 years old. He's also using insulin, in my opinion. I don't know for a fact. I don't know the kid. It's his life. He does what he wants to do with it. I'm not bashing him. But you can't eat 600 grams of complex carbs a day and expect not to get fat, especially if you're over the age of 40. It ain't going to happen. Your metabolism is going to change once that light switch of the age of 40 gets turned on. Your metabolism is going to slow down. So don't fall into that trap where you've got to consume all these carbs because Sam Sulik says this or Mike Menser says that. Different generation, different drug therapy, different training mentalities also. Different diet protocols from back in the day to what these cats are doing today. Very different. Don't fall into that trap. I'm telling you right now, learn from my 43 years of training experience that I have through my coach, Bob Gruskin. He trained nothing but champions, and I was one of them back in the 80s. And I'm sharing that knowledge with you. Until next time, I will see you guys in the gym. Peace out.